Hello! Today I want to talk to you about what makes a great professional. And this could be about musician, a teacher, a lawyer, doesn't really matter. The question is, what makes a great professional a great professional? But first, I gotta go grab some lunch, got a busy day of lessons today, including new students. Let's do this. Okay, it's half past 2 p.m. I've been teaching, doing emails, phone calls. Let's talk about running a business. Okay, so when you run your own business, you literally have to do everything. I try to delegate as much as possible, but businesses are unpredictable, so you constantly need to be doing some sort of damage control, even though that became an obsession of mine and I want to get rid of that. I don't want to be doing damage control. Actually, I don't want anyone to be doing damage control. I want to reduce the amount of damage that is uh, even possible to be made to almost zero. Sure, it cannot be zero. Like I said, businesses are unpredictable. But this whole conversation is still about what it takes to be a professional. We're talking about someone whose work ethics are just through the roof. So, the million dollar question. What do you need to be? How do you need to be? When do you need to be? What do you need to be in order to be a professional professional? Well, in my opinion, first thing is to be self-motivated. I know this one is super difficult, but to be a professional is so difficult that if you can't motivate yourself to get up in the morning and start working immediately, it's gonna be difficult. Number two, you gotta be willing to suffer. Running your own business and you wanna live the life? Yeah, get ready for a decade of suffering. So you better be able to endure. You better be able to put up with a lot of crap. Otherwise, Number three, you gotta be willing to do stuff that you don't like to do. For example, I'm not a big fan of cleaning. I gotta do it. you can see me pull me out of here feels like i'm drowning Invisible. it's gotta be done but do you know what i love to do teaching i love teaching so let's do some teaching shall we you can see me in the shadows of my fear feels like i'm drowning The other thing that you have to be in order to be a professional professional is honest. You have to be honest with yourself. You have to be honest with people who you work with. You have to be honest. I mean, come on. Success, progress doesn't come from being stubborn. It's not just because you keep on doing the same thing over and over again that you're going to become successful. No, it comes from being honest. It comes from making mistakes, it comes from knowing that you've made a mistake, it comes from understanding why you've made the mistake and then fix it. That's what you have to do. You have to be honest and you have to know that you're not perfect, so stop pretending that you are. Then, maybe then, you might achieve something. What else do you need to be? You need to be organized. I'm obsessed with to-do lists, I'm always always writing to-do lists. Invisible. 
always. The reason for that is because I don't like to remember everything I gotta do. And I don't like to have my phone or my tablet or my laptop constantly buzzing and beeping and making noises just to remind me that I have to send an email. I write it down. It's right there, piece of paper, and then I can just look at it, scratch it off once it's done. Easy, organized. Also, as much as of a cliche as it might sound, check your metrics, check your bank account, check your inbox, check everything. So if you have people working for you as I do, trust, delegate, but verify. I read all my emails. I don't necessarily respond to all of them because I have someone who takes care of that for me, but I read them all. I know exactly what's going on. I'm in the loop and that makes it a lot easier for me to know exactly what the next step is gonna be. Which reminds me of the other thing that you have to be if you want to be successful. You have to plan. Don't just dream, plan. Plan things, write things down. Know exactly how you want to do them, when you want to do them, how much it will cost. You have to know what's going on. You can't just one day wake up in the morning and say, I'm going to be successful. A lot of people dream. People who are focused, plan. Have a vision, give it shape, and stop dreaming. Oh, last thing that you have to do, you have to be this in order to be successful. You have to do... I mean, yes, planning is great and it's awesome to write business plans and all that stuff and go around and say that you are such an organized fella. What if you don't do anything about it? There, just finished teaching. It's almost nine o'clock again. It's time to work. You see, my friends, if you're not willing to grind it out, if you're not willing to really, really work hard, why would you even deserve to live the life of your dreams? But I believe in that. I believe that this... Whatever I do that I really love to do, I have to prove to myself in the world that I deserve to do it. Plus, let's talk business. You gotta make it profitable. You have to make it lucrative. So. You either take it seriously and you really learn the craft of capitalizing on your skills or you've lost the game even before it started. Good luck. My love somehow My questions need your answer Give them to me now Pain inside is way too much Just want to hold you and feel your touch you can see me pull me out of here feels like i'm drowning